Today I'm sharing with you one of my all-time favorite sandwiches. This is my smashed meatballs on garlicky toasted ciabatta rolls, smothered in mozzarella cheese, topped off with some slow roasted cherry tomatoes, finished with a basil pesto. Guys, are you drooling yet? Because I am and I cannot wait to show you guys how good this sandwich is. Let me show you how to make this at home. I love making meatballs. I love eating meatballs. The fact that you can make so many all at once on your Blackstone is such a time saver. I haven't made meatballs in the kitchen in so long. I make them, pop them into freezer bags, perfect to throw into a pot of gravy or sauce for a Sunday fun day dinner. Some crusty Italian bread, pasta, a glass of wine. It doesn't get any better than that except for this sandwich, smashed meatballs. With the flavors of these slow roasted tomatoes, you're gonna just love every bit of this, especially the different textures that this sandwich brings to the table. Now I've got all my ingredients ready to rock and roll. I spotted this Delalo basil pesto topping in my local grocery store and I just knew it would be the perfect addition to my smashed meatball sandwich. My ground meat is a meatball mixture of pork, veal, and beef. I've got homemade garlic butter, which I always keep on hand in my refrigerator. It's so simple to make. Unsalted butter, softened, add some fresh grated garlic cloves, some fresh chopped flat leaf Italian parsley, some sea salt, and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and this keeps in the refrigerator all week long for anything that you wanna add this to. To start this, we're gonna slow roast some cherry tomatoes in the Blackstone cast iron skillet. This thing is so versatile. All of the different things you can make in it, whether it's pizza in your pizza oven, using it for potatoes or steak, or using this directly on your Blackstone surface to slow roast things like these cherry tomatoes. Since these will take the longest, we want these to cook nice and low and slow. We'll add in about a quarter to a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil to start. Some fresh garlic cloves. We're keeping these garlic cloves whole since we want this to infuse our oil and allow this to cook long. We don't want little pieces of garlic burning in our oil. We'll add in our cherry tomatoes, give that a quick mix to coat all of our tomatoes. A sprinkle of some sea salt, a hand full of some chopped fresh basil and now let them just do their thing slow roast in that oil those fresh garlic cloves are gonna become so soft they will become so sweet you're gonna love the flavor of these spread across your smash burger and as those whole pieces of garlic slowly roast down they'll change from their flavor of that sharp garlic to a really sweet piece of garlic that you can just smear on anything. Jumping over to our meatball mix of pork, veal, and beef, we're gonna season that up with the Blackstone Tutto Italiano. We'll add in one egg, one fourth cup of chopped flat leaf Italian parsley, two thirds cup of our panko breadcrumb, one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and then a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and go in with your hands and give this a mix to combine and then begin to roll out our meatballs once we've got all of our meatballs rolled and ready for frying let's check back on our cherry tomatoes giving them a mix every few minutes making sure nothing is burning our oil is staying nice and low in temperature adding more if needed and just slightly moving these around gently not to break your tomatoes we want these to stay nice and whole as they begin to soften and cook down on the opposite side of our blackstone we'll drizzle down some extra virgin olive oil to fry our meatballs in. These are gonna go on medium low heat. We don't wanna rush these because these meatballs do have to cook through. As they begin to fry on one side, I'm gonna jump back over to my tomatoes, another little mix, adding in some more basil because the flavor of basil and tomatoes is just a slice of heaven. And then back over to our meatballs and giving these a turn. We want these to cook on all sides, creating a beautiful crispy crust on these. Now to help these cook through, I'm placing my small dome over these meatballs. And for my bread of choice, I've got these Take and bake at home ciabatta rolls. Slice these in half, smear on our garlicky butter. Again, that is just some soft and unsalted butter with freshly grated garlic, a ton of it, some sea salt, 
fresh chopped flat leaf parsley and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Now before we get to toasting up this ciabatta bread, we need a little bit of room on our blackstone griddle. So we'll remove our cherry tomatoes. The cast iron pan comes with a handle making for easy transferring on or off your griddle or in or out of your blackstone pizza oven. These are going to be so delicious. Jumping back over to our meatballs, these are now cooked through. So down goes our ciabatta rolls to toast, which only takes a few seconds until golden brown. And now for the fun part of smashing our meatballs, I'm gonna slide these over into that left behind garlicky butter and begin to smash these meatballs. Immediately top them with some sliced mozzarella cheese, a little drizzle of water around the outside to help melt down the cheese and create that beautiful cheese skirt that we love to our golden crispy crunchy ciabatta bread we're gonna add some whole leaves of basil and for me I've got to fill everybody's stomachs so we go for two smashed meatballs per sandwich a nice hefty drizzle of our Delalo basil pesto topping or you could go ahead and make your own pesto and then a spoonful or as many of those slow roasted garlicky tomatoes that we can fit on these sandwiches. A post dust of our Tutto Italiano. I've added a little sprinkle of some Maldone sea salt, which I love these sea salt flakes. They're gorgeous. And now it's time to smush this sandwich together so that you can fit it in your mouth. I cannot even express to you my love for this sandwich. I get so excited to make these. They're so delicious. It's all the flavors I love sandwiched between garlic bread. I mean, you just can't beat it. And I know you guys are gonna love it. I am the best sandwich I think I've ever had, ever. So I am dying for you to make this at home on your Blackstone and post a picture so that I can see you guys enjoying it just as much as I do. Nothing makes me happier than watching you guys enjoy all of the foods that I enjoy here with my family. And don't forget, you're gonna wanna make extra tomatoes. They're so good, just smeared up with some crusty bread. Add them on top of a griddled steak. Add them to a salad, eggs, any sandwich, or alongside some of your favorite fish. The possibilities are endless, and they pack so much flavor. Now go get the smashing. I'll be waiting and watching. Until next time, I'm Black So and Betty, and I will see you guys next week for another recipe. Thank you.